I'm Dave Matthews with this week's Notes on the News from RevTech Ventures. Like millions of you out there, I just watched the final episode of We Crashed. And like so many shows of late, it takes great fun at the expense of the entrepreneur. So I want to rant for a minute because I've seen some of the operators I work with out there relating to Miguel in the show, who's the operator who has to do all the heavy lifting and poking great fun at Adam Newman, who is the visionary that really drove the fundraising and the revenue growth. And I got to say, folks, just think about it for a minute. We've taken great relish in all these shows that really make fun of the entrepreneur, the visionary, and just like poke great fun at their expense. But let's think for a minute. Where would the world be without these crazy visionary entrepreneurs that dare to disrupt the world as we know it? Not very far. We'd probably be like buggy whips and uh, horse and buggy and, and uh, cleaning up manure off the roads, if we even had roads. So um, really, folks, let's give some street cred to the entrepreneurs. Let's just think where we work would be without Adam Newman and his influence. First, would it even exist? Probably not. First, would it raise enough money so that it could be that category-dominant disruptor uh, buying up more and more space around the world? Hell no. Adam had a genius for fundraising and getting the fuel in the tank to do that crazy disruptive expansion. How about surviving when they ran out of money? Hell no. No. The company run by the tactician would just cut expenses and fade away to oblivion. Not, not with the visionary. The visionary is like, we will not fail. Come on, people. He's the one that kept people showing up to work when the odds were against him. He's the one that kept pressing for the fundraising when everyone was saying no. So where would we work be without that visionary that we're having so much fun right now poking fun at? Nowhere. So come on, folks. Let's embrace entrepreneurship.